Sometimes, we explore enemies with very little written lore associated with them. In these cases, we tend to delve deeper into the well of speculation than we typically like to. However, if we believe the theories we're crafting come from a place of sound, logical analysis of what the game does provide to us, we're much more confident in sharing these ideas as possible lore. When it comes to today's topic, we can confidently say that not a single item in Elden Ring makes mention of its existence. But through its name and context clues in the creature's design and the places we can encounter them, we believe there's a story to tell and an origin to unravel. Today, we will be discussing the ulcerated tree spirits, where they come from, why we fight them where we do, the meaning of their name, and the reason for their grotesque form. Welcome to the Elden Lore series, where we research individual creatures, bosses, and NPCs throughout the Lands Between, and make sure their stories are told. If this is your first time joining us, thank you for checking out our content, and if you enjoy the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. We really appreciate every sub as it helps us build this incredible community we've been cultivating since the release of Elden Ring. Whether you subscribe or not, we appreciate you taking the time to hang out with us today. If there are any characters or enemies you don't see in our playlist, feel free to let us know in the comments, and we'll see what we can do. With that said, let's get back to the topic at hand. The ulcerated tree spirits are disgusting creatures, typically found below or around minor erd trees. These enemies have a fish-like appearance, similar to that of the Elden Beast, only they seem to have a body covered in bark, branches, and exposed cancerous flesh. Their massive gaping jaws snap at you, trying to eat your tarnished, but their mouths are also used to shower us with golden fire. Their massive size and horrifying screeches upon facing them are enough to unsettle anyone during their first encounter with one of these monstrosities. But the oddest thing about them is that upon their defeat, we never receive any items explaining what they are. We believe that their resemblance to the Elden Beast is one of the best clues as to their origins. These enemies are called Tree Spirits, and we know that the Elden Beast resides within the Elden Ring the source of the Ur tree, which Radagon and Marika are trapped within. If all of the minor Ur trees are born from the seeds of the original Ur tree, that would mean each carries a piece of the Elden Beast within it, as its spirit. Simply put, the Ur trees are connected to the Elden Ring, the Elden Ring is connected to the Elden Beast, so therefore, the Elden Beast is connected to all of the Ur trees. This means within every minor Ur tree resides a tree spirit, or an embodiment of the Elden Ring, possibly a piece of the Elden Beast itself. Often we fight the ulcerated tree spirits at the roots of a minor Ur tree, such as below the giant's mountaintop catacombs or the fringe folk hero's grave. On another occasion, we face one of these beasts at the base of the minor Ur tree in Mount Gelmir. One thing that can be said for sure is that these creatures find their origins at the base of an Ur tree, but what causes them to become ulcerated? An ulcer is caused by an imbalance between the digestive juices produced by the stomach and the various factors that protect its lining. If we consider that the Ur tree feeds off of the cycle of death and rebirth within the lands between, this means that an ulcerated tree spirit could be created by external factors that have interrupted this process. When we delve deep within the dungeons, we find ourselves at the roots of various Ur trees spread across the lands. Often when we defeat the enemies there, we are presented with the spirit ashes of those who received an Ur tree burial, implying that they were buried at these roots to be fed back to the Ur tree. As we know, far below the surface of the lands between, the corpse of Godwin the Golden strangles the roots of the Ur tree and spreads its own root system across the land. If the process of feeding these Ur trees the souls of those buried at their roots is interrupted by the influence of Godwin's corpse, this could cause a disruption capable of creating an ulcerated tree spirit. The spirit of the minor Ur tree is strangled by death itself, incapable of properly processing the souls it's being fed, leading to lesions 
exposed flesh, and growths protruding from its physical form. Of course, this only accounts for ulcerated tree spirits found near the minor ur trees. We also see one below Stormvale Castle, as well as in the capital outskirts and within Lanedell. We believe these spirits are easily explained by their locations. The corpse of Godwin the Golden is found very close to the royal capital, strangling the roots of the original ur tree. So in this case, it would make sense that ulcerated tree spirits would be found above ground in and around the capital. This also explains why we'd find three of these creatures in the Ashen Capital, as after the city falls, it'd be much easier for them to claw their way to the surface. The spirit found below Stormvale Castle is a bit more confusing, but we believe this can also be explained. We all know that you can find one of the many faces growing off of Godwin the Golden's corpse below Stormvale, showing how far this influence has spread, and an ulcerated tree spirit guards the way to this discovery. We believe in this case, the creature was drawn to the origin of its disease, and found itself trapped below the castle. There is another variant of these enemies that can be found in areas affected by Scarlet Rot, known as the Putrid Tree Spirit. Visually, these enemies are the same as the Ulcerated Tree Spirits, with one important difference. Their fire breath is a pinkish red, the hue of Scarlet Rot. These variants can only be found in three different places across the Lands Between. The War Dead Catacombs, the Grand Cloister, and Elphael, Brace of the Halig Tree. While a tree spirit being present at the War Dead Catacombs makes sense, as we can find tree roots associated with that dungeon, the other two locations are trickier. Perhaps the Grand Cloister once housed the roots of an Ur tree, but the Scarlet Rot Flow ate away at its roots leaving its spirit to adapt and live below the rotten waters. For Elphael, we know that the Halic Tree was supposed to essentially become Mikola's new Ur Tree to replace the Golden Order. Perhaps without Mikola's influence, the rot overflowing from Melania caused this putrid tree spirit to be born, making it the only one not associated with an Ur Tree, but rather the Halic Tree itself. The influence of the rot opens up a deeper level to what causes these tree spirits to become malformed. If the scarlet rot also has the potential to warp a tree spirit from its intended form, that would mean the rot also interrupts the flow of life and death within Erd trees. If we consider this possibility, it means the rebirth cycle of the lands between can be interrupted by other outer gods. This means if the influence of another outer god were to truly take hold in the lands between, the Elden Beast itself could someday become ulcerated or putrid, a shell of its former self. That is, of course, if we don't slay it first. One last note to make is based around the physical appearance of the ulcerated tree spirits and their likeness to the Erd Tree avatars. When we look at the avatars, we can see their skin has the same bark-like appearance as that of the tree spirits, implying a deeper connection between them. An avatar is a manifestation of a deity or released soul in bodily form on Earth. So perhaps the Ur tree avatars and the tree spirits are cut from the same cloth. Maybe those spirits that did not become ulcerated or succumb to the rot instead formed themselves into the Ur tree avatars, releasing themselves from their roots and becoming defenders of their minor Ur trees. This is heavy speculation on our part but we believe it's plausible, as we don't find an Erd Tree avatar defending any of the minor Erd Trees where ulcerated tree spirits are found at the roots. The ulcerated tree spirits are horrific creatures, and many in the community believe they were overused throughout Elden Ring. However, if they truly are the mangled spirits of minor Erd Trees, it makes perfect sense we'd find so many of them across the land. We believe that our explanation of their background lends more credence to why so many exist, and why we have to take them down to receive golden seeds. But what do you think? Were there too many ulcerated tree spirits in the game? Do you agree with our theory on their origins? Is there a connection between these spirits and the Erdtree avatars? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss an episode in this series. 
We look forward to seeing you again for more Elden Lore.